Hello, my wonderful community. Today is a beautiful day to get outside, so if it's available to you and nice in your area, I encourage you to do so for this nice little balance flow. We will be working into eagle pose today. So we're going to come to the top of the mat to find your nice mountain pose. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale as you hinge from hips forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, bend knees, root through the feet and rise. So a couple more half sun sal salutes here, just connecting to that beautiful breath, the prana, core engagement, getting the body nice and warm, saluting the sun, really feeling the earth beneath your feet. You've been here before, you know what to do. Trust in your practice, trust in yourself. Leave your arms up overhead, root through that right foot, and then send the left foot back into your low lunge. Doesn't matter how low you go, just find your balance, shine the heart forward. And step it up, core engagement. Exhale, float the hands down to the small of the low back, lift the chest up, nice little back bend here. Bend the knees, inhale the arms up. Exhale as you hinge forward from the hips, let it go. Inhale, half lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, bend knees, root to rise. Leaving those arms up over the head, really rooted down through that left foot this time. Extend the right foot back, low lunge. Catch your balance, find your breath, find your core. Lift up through the heart, deep breath in. And step it up. Hands float to the low back, offer the heart forward. And release the arms, inhale, palms face up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift and fold. We're gonna roll through a little vinyasa, so knees, chest, chin to cobra, or perhaps your chaturanga to up dog, whatever you're feeling, embrace where you are, nurture that. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Now from here, we're gonna to start to walk the hands back to the feet. Core engagement, inhale for your half lift. Exhale as you fold, root through the feet and rise. See if you can bring that right foot with you, launching up into a one-legged mountain pose. So we've been here before. We revisit this in a practice from earlier in the week if you need to. So energy out of the big ball mound of the foot and the heel. From here, see if you can grab onto that shin and take the knee out to the side, feeling a nice inner thigh stretch. Breathing deeply, inhale the arms up overhead. And then maybe you point the toe and see if you can bring that toe towards the leg, feeling the core engage. Don't touch the leg, just bring it towards. And then see if you can reach down, grab the ankle, and bring that foot up into thigh. If it doesn't make it up into the thigh, no worries. Float hands to hips. Bring it back into your lowercase shape, H. Get nice and bendy into that supporting leg. And then from here, we're gonna go into eagle, wrapping that right leg around the left. So you can kickstand toes here if you need a little more balance. Hands on hips, seeing if you can square the hips as best you can, pull the belly button back to spine. Take the arms out parallel in front of you and then bring the left arm underneath the right. Eagle the arms or self-love hug. Wherever you are, just drop the shoulders, feel the release through the backs of the shoulder blades, sink low into the glutes and hips. Feel that inhale as you lift up, unravel. And then exhale, we're just gonna step that foot forward, bring it up on the other side, one-legged mountain pose. So left leg's up this time. See if you can grab onto the shin, take that knee out to your side. Feeling a nice stretch there. Continuing to breathe, stick with the breath. Inhale, see if you can lift the arms, grow your branches, or float the hands to heart center if you'd like. And then point the toes and see if you can bring that big toe towards the inner thigh without touching, feeling those transverse abdominals kick on. And then from here, see if you can grab that ankle and bring foot up into thigh. Nice strong tree. Float hands to heart center if you'd like to. And go ahead, release that foot. See if you can bring it into that one-legged mountain pose. And then we're gonna work into eagle on this side. So take your time, bendy into the knee. 
See if you can take a wrap with that leg, kick standing toes, or wrapping the foot around the shin, back of the calf. Balance the hips once you have it in the legs. Go ahead, float your arms out in front of you. Self-love hug or eagle the arms. Very nice, drop the shoulders, lift the elbows if you're in eagle pose. And release the arms, launch it back up, one-legged mountain pose. And then we'll firmly root down through both legs, find your nice, strong, stable mountain, and then exhale as you hinge forward from hips, forward fold, inhale, half lift, lengthen through that spine. Spine grows out of the crown of the head. Exhale, step it back into your plank. Option two, vinyasa. Leave it out if you'd like. We'll meet in downward dog. So from downward dog, come up onto the toes, bend the knees, maybe challenge your core and hop forward a couple of times, little hops and then step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Press into the earth and rise all the way up. And bring the palms together overhead, float them down gently to your heart, pulling in this stability, this balance holding it close into your heart center, coming back to this moment on the mat whenever you need a break. Feel the breath, feel the heartbeat. Honored to practice with you, my yogi, on this wonderful platform. I'll see you next time on the mat. Namaste.